No. Hey there. I'm uh, your host with the most, Robbie. <coughs> Welcome to the TV. They can't podcast. see you when you pause and go like that. <laughs> so there is no entertainment <laughs> in you pausing. They can't. I'm your host with the most. Uh, What's your name? I, I'm getting there. Uh, Robbie is my name. Uh, the T-Birds is this podcast. I'm hosting it. As I said, I've got a lot. The most <laughs> in this group. Uh, <laughs> Nobody else says anything. Just make it more awkward. <laughs> I'm, I'm George. I'm Jack. And I'm James, and I think I just broke a bit of the table. Don't tell him. Stop touching the table. The mic's on it. I, I stopped. I put the table back <laughs> together, okay? And I think it's holding. Okay. Was that a part of an um, elaborate This is episode part? three. Point one. Yeah. Why point one? Because oh we've already God. done the intro. No, they don't need to do that. Didn't say that. They don't need to do that. Shh. Um, so, any, anything of interest you, got, you boys want to bring up? No, Why well, are we, we doing a podcast? Do we have anything interesting to say? Well, Can I, I cut Harry off every time I, he tries to speak? I do have something interesting to say, but Robbie seems to be cutting me off every time. How about that? One word game. No one else. Maybe we should start off the podcast with that. Today, oh God, it's good. We did that I lab. went to... I don't want to play this game because we always say bad words. That is not one word. <laughs> also, we did it last okay. time. Did we do it? No. The... It's over. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I saw Carolus at the gym last night. Um, we compared muscles. Who's Carolus? Oh, yeah, Carolus is um, another please. member of the group who lives with some of us and is uh, probably the most person likely to be able to do any kind of sport. Because really. he's the most diverse. I don't yeah. think anyone can compete with Carolus on muscles. I mean, I reckon Carolus has got at least 42. <laughs> I'm sure I can support that. Me. I heard Carolus um, has the strength to get himself out of bed in the morning. I heard Carolus has the strength <laughs> of at least three ants. But like ants that are like the size of dogs. Yeah. <laughs> you need him on a podcast so he can play the imitation game. Yes. Yeah. The imitation game, great film. It's all right. All right film. I, don't know. I mean, it's just Cumberbatch acting autistic again. I just really <laughs> as like... As he does in every role. I just really like autism. I can't battle that. It's all he does. He's the good guy in every universe. Autistic. Even when he's the bad guy. The autistic... Smaug, he's a good guy, really. I mean, he just wants gold. I mean, Iron Man's kind of autistic, isn't he? Nah, he's definitely not. Who is he's he in Iron Man? <laughs> <laughs> no, he just meant Iron Man. Oh, okay. he, moved, he moved topics. Oh, I thought you... Tony Stark is really autistic. No, he's, he, no, no he's not. No, he's really smart and he hasn't got any social skills, that, has he? He's, he's got, got social skills, skills. Social he just skills. chooses not to use them. He just chooses that he hates people. He's, 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 he chooses to be autistic. <laughs> That's not the same as being autistic. <laughs> I think autism is a choice. <laughs> Better subject, Attack of the Clones, best Star Wars movie. No. Ooh, yes. No. Yeah. Let's talk about that. No. Oh. No. I think um, there's a lot of points to be made for it and not many to be made against it. I think yeah, when you think about it, the entire plot just comes under one point. People are going to think you guys are serious. I think... The problem is, the only downsides of Attack of the Clones is, is it's it rough, made? it's coarse, and it gets everywhere. Oh, yeah. but like sand. I hate sand. I feel like that nail was hit on the head and then got hammered through the piece of wood. Like, Do you know what else is great? CGI pears. I love me a good CGI pear. Hey, that was revolutionary. That's what I want to see instead of lightsaber battles. A CGI pear. <laughs> How old is this film that we're now making fun of? 15 years old. Yeah. Oh, shit, it is, isn't it? I feel like we really missed the boat on shitting on it. Soon, it will be older than us. <laughs> <laughs> so today's Valentine's Day. It is, that's a very good topic. Mm, but yeah. Instead, we're all single and making a podcast. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> okay, Jack. Um, I actually want to take this time out because the reason I've come here to make a podcast is to send a message to a girl a special girl in my life a special is she has she got down syndrome has she got autism <laughs> what <laughs> what he said a special girl <laughs> Jesus Christ <laughs> one conversation <laughs> would be great <laughs> I'd like to tell the tale of my brother he's got a tale my 
Let How big known, is it? Let it be known that Harry almost laughed. <laughs> <laughs> let, the re- <laughs> let the record show that Harry was stifling a laugh. Which, which brother has a tail? Is it both of them? Do you have a tail, Harry? Is it a tall tail? <laughs> or is it a short one? <laughs> is it one you can, like... It's, it's attached to, like, a butt plug and you use it for cosplay and furry sex or something? It's a tale to be told. No, I don't believe in those. <laughs> Told your tale, please. I will tell a tale of my brother, of when he proposed to his wife, his now wife, even. His <coughs> then fe- uh, well, that kind of defeats the purpose of the story. I was going to be like, oh, did she say yes? But now we know she says yes. Spoiler yeah, well, alert. Yeah, no, 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 but no. It's the, it's, no guarantee she said yes. Stop is this the brother that everything. looks exactly like you? Yes, this is the brother who looks exactly like I'm still not sure which brother then. Ollie, right? Ollie, yeah, Ollie, Oliver. Uh, well, when he was but... <laughs> a 25 or 26 year old boy he went to Australia to see his uh, his then girlfriend's um, counter argument Australia's not real we'll get to that later on but he went to Australia it's a the fantasy story. The, the, this guy's already got the a tail fantasy he's travelling to mythical lands and I know people can't see my um, my quotation, quotation marks. marks let the record show Harry's been using air quotation marks the rabbit the is time. <laughs> rabbit ears, you know, like <laughs> see little rabbit ears when you do quotation marks in the air. So uh, he went to Australia to see his uh, his soon to be father in law, and he was like, oh, "I'd like your permission to marry your daughter," and he was like, "No," and then he fought his father in law. Um. Mortal so Kombat he style. could uh, marry. Well, like, Wait, Wayne's World Two. He had a fight. This is getting into a very visual podcast. <laughs> oh yeah, and now he also, he now now he has um, after the fight. Go not on, directly looks like this. Not directly <laughs> in a podcast. <laughs> Go on, Harry. <laughs> what are you the, doing? Show the microphone, <laughs> you Australia is just a movie starring Hugh Jackman and Nicole Kidman. Nicole Kidman. <laughs> I've got a counter argument. No, you don't. <laughs> Silly. Do. Come on, a, a rocky, arid, deserty island in the middle of the ocean. Doesn't make sense, does it? Does not make sense. Inhabited by bouncing animals. Come on, and squids. Not true. I don't think the squids inhabit Australia. <laughs> I, I think they're more like... Explain Sydney Not on the island? I don't think there's anything on the island, George, because it's not true. And, and have you seen pictures of Sydney? Explain the didgeridoo. Where uh, did that come from? Yeah, didgeridoo. What kind of name is that? That's something from a Dr. Seuss book. More like didgeridoo't. The didgeridoo is just a big old pan flute, but without the extra flutes. The rest all just fell off. They couldn't afford the rest. Come on, that's our case, George. What do you give? And don't say you lived there, because we all knew, we all know that you just lived in your imagination for roughly four years. Yeah, oh, you, were, you only hatched, like, a year and a half ago. Australia was a tale that you told yourself. A tall tale. You would like the one Harry's brother has. Wait, hold up. You have a fucking tail. Yeah. What, what one? What animal? Oh, it's just like some, it's like a half alligator, half bird. It's fucked up. <laughs> so it's feathery alligator tail. Yeah. <laughs> half scaly, half feathers. How, lo- how long are we talking? What do you mean? Oh, well, a couple of years. Hmm. That didn't really answer my question. How long is it? Oh, uh, a couple of years. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, in centimetres, how long? Four years. <laughs> Looks like, what, one year every... Two, <laughs> two centimetres? Every two years. <laughs> so, a couple of centimetres. Four centimetres, yeah. you're telling me. Yeah. It's pretty small. It's more like an extended tailbone. It just looks like I'm constantly halfway through a shit. <laughs> That's... Like a really rigid shit as well. <laughs> Feathery. You can have a sense around that as well. <laughs> Wait, can we not swear in this podcast? Yeah, it, no, SoundCloud doesn't allow swearing. Fucking cunt, cunt, cunt shit. <laughs> if, if Let the record know that, <laughs> that Robbie's initial reaction to finding out he can swear is to say the word cunt three times <laughs> fast. Yeah, Wait, so can we... I haven't said everything. Wait, can't we swear or not? Yes, yes, we can. We can? Yeah. <laughs> Did you see? <laughs> so, but SoundCloud doesn't allow it? Yes, it does. What? 
I was uh, just fucking with you. That's how you get an explicit rating. Have you not listened to the first two yeah, podcasts? Yeah, have you not listened to our other podcasts? Yeah, just... I'm an avid listener of the T-Birds podcast. Are you one of the 17? <laughs> yeah, no. Jockey. You're not allowed to swear when I'm hosting this podcast. You're not even hosting it, oh, mate. Oh shit, yeah, you're the one hosting this. Listen here, you can't, you can't swear. <laughs> you can't swear. You can't swear. You can't swear. Right meow. <laughs> you better all stop swearing. Right, so uh, one, once upon an afternoon. Once yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> once upon a yesterday. Uh, uh, on the... 13th of February, 2017. The day before today. Yes, the day before today. Yeah, Robbie. but by the, time, by the time George edits this and gets it out, it'll probably be like April 24th June. or something. June. How dare you? What are you saying? <laughs> I'm a fast editor, all right? Anyway, one hand is coming. <laughs> yeah. I've seen snails move faster, mate faster. I've seen snails edit faster. I've seen snails snail faster. I've seen snails. How do you, Um anyway, once upon a yesterday, I uh I was in a record store. HMV. That's not a record store, yeah. is it? It's just like a very commercial It's a store that sells records. It's a record store. <laughs> it's a store I mean, that I sells agree on that. It's a store that sells the Blu-ray copy of Suicide Squad. Yeah, I don't think that's a store. I think that's hell. <laughs> Once upon a yesterday, I was in a store, and uh, I, I, well, I was. Um... We get it. You're in the store. <laughs> I was in the store. Wait, wait. Where are you again? <laughs> I was in a store. What day was it? <laughs> It was the 30th of February. Yesterday. Yes. The 30th. Of Carry February. on. Once upon a yesterday, I was in a and I was in a store. On the 30th of February. Oh my uh, god. I was in a store. And um You was just have a look at the store. <laughs> just um, don't and extend this. Just have a look at the store. And I mean they had the they had the Blu-ray copy of Suicide Squad. And they also had the vinyl of the Suicide Squad. Cause, soundtrack. Because it was because it was it was a store that sold records. It was a record store essentially. In the record store. In the record store on the 30th of February. I was in the record store. I know. <laughs> Yes, I was on a record store on the 30th of February and um, I uh, I was odds, odds on and if you guys don't know what odds on is, it's... Um, where have you been? Where have you been, you wank, you cunt? Just shit on the floor, this fuck is, you. This, <laughs> <laughs> this is like the eighth time this podcast we've called whoever is listening a cunt. <laughs> Yeah, Sorry, I, was, start again. I was in a record store on the 30th of February and uh, they, they sold the Blu-ray copy of Suicide Squad. And they also sold the vinyl of Suicide Squad soundtrack. So, um, James, our humble podcast, uh, one, of, one of the co-hosts of this podcast. What are you, um, some kind of suicide squid? That guy. Um, he, he picked it up and he was just like, oh, look, they sell the Suicide Squad soundtrack. So um, me being in the, this, um, this record store on the 13th of February, <laughs> um, I, I was like, oh, wouldn't it be funny if one of us bought that? And then James said, odds on. And then I said, <laughs> yeah, sure, uh, 100. And then James said, <laughs> OK. I keep taking pauses. Like. I think he wants me to stick some sort of sound effect in there. <laughs> yeah, like a <laughs> klaxon or something. <laughs> or like the whole of the Suicide Squad movie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway, I was in a record store on the 30th of February um, with James with a, a, a record of uh, oh, the Suicide Squad. It's, it's not even funny anymore. Sounds track. Just get to the phone. Basically, we both said 52 and that's the end of it. And now, uh, well, I and said... he didn't fucking buy it. He bitched out. I didn't buy it. Podcast listeners but instead, know this. Instead, now I have to buy £20 worth of Jaeger bombs. And when I told him to do it tonight, he didn't do it. Yeah, because I wasn't <laughs> going to get drunk, but in the end I got drunk. Jack did A-level physics. In case anyone didn't know, Jack did A-level physics. Let the record show that Jack did A-level physics. <laughs> What'd you get? Robbie, you ruined it. 
You really How? Didn't. You didn't say that Jack did A-level physics. <laughs> Fuck, that hurt. Everyone else. We were all going one by one. I'm the host, though. <laughs> I get to say and do what I want. Obviously not the host with the most. I've got the most. I no, think you you've got the least. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you gave me the host responsibilities five minutes before this thing started. You can't be like, you're the host, boy. Where, where's your topics? Yeah, but you Where said those... you were the host yeah. with the most. You were the one who gave the brand. Do you want to see the most of these topics? Well, yeah. We didn't give you the hosting responsibilities. You took them. I stepped up to the plate. Yeah. And obviously you can't handle it. I can handle the it's plate. It's a hot plate. Oven mitts. Oh yeah, let's all cater to Robbie. Yeah. What's your what's your problem with it? You wanna have a fight, yeah? Let the audience listen to it. Listen to the beatdown I'll oh, give you. Yeah. Your gym oh. your gym cut. Oh, oh just punch you. Oh that hurt. Oh, that hurt. Oh, no, stop it. Stop Let it. the record show <laughs> they're just hitting themselves. <laughs> Let the record show that even though they know I would be most, more than happy to put sound effects in the edit, <laughs> they chose to hit themselves. Let the record show when George says he'll be more than happy to put sound effects in the edit, that means when he finally gets round to the edit. Fuck off. He'll Podcast be- 3, coming 2018. <laughs> Come on. Hello? Hi, I once felt love. It was a couple of years ago. I want in on this um, phone call. Um, there, there was candles, there was pancakes, and there was the rough sound of my dad telling me to okay. um, just take it whilst we watched Braveheart together. Okay. okay. Um, we was were in, Braveheart the one with the dragon? Um, no, it... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then right at the end, he cuts out his heart and gives it... I don't remember, actually. So Sean Connery is the voice of the dragon. He is. He is the voice of... What is that film? Because I really like that Hobbit. film. Dragonheart. Dragonheart. Um, sorry, I don't know who you're talking to here, but I'm um, on the phone to you talking oh, about I, love. I thought I was talking to Brendan Fraser, hit, hit actor from Inkheart. Uh, hi, I'm Brendan Fraser. I'm a nice guy. That's why Hollywood doesn't hire me anymore. Sorry, I don't know who you're talking about. Who's Brendan Fraser? Is he from The Mummy? Is that Some the guy from The Mummy? Make money or is that anymore. Tom Cruise? Oh, oh no, I'm putting the phone down right now. That oh. was insult. Oh, I just got the phone put down on me. That is a visual. That is an audio representation of the visual representation well, of what just happened to me. I'm I'm a person who can hear all phone conversations <laughs> at all times and can join in with them. I'm omniscient. <laughs> Only across phones. That would drive you insane. <laughs> so you could say your eye boy. A diamond. A oh, ring ring. What a, a ring ring. A ring movie. ring. A ring ring. Oh, who's this? Ring ring. Hello. 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 Oh, <laughs> there's a lot of people on the line. Hello. <laughs> oh wow, it's almost it's almost the whole podcast. Sorry, I answered late. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 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 here to talk about. People say that ring the, ring. Uh, the people say that the whole um. The whole, uh, the whole Valentine's Day thing is like every day's Valentine's Day if you're in the right relationship. Um, That's bollocks. But what if you're in the wrong relationship? What is every day? It's Monday, Tuesday, <laughs> Thursday, <laughs> Friday, Only Saturday then. and Sunday. <laughs> no, Wednesday's in a bad relationship, I see. <laughs> Wednesday, Wednesday doesn't exist. Prove to me that Wednesday exists. <laughs> record show harry's left the podcast and is now just lying down against the wall i'm trying not to wee <laughs> let the record show that harry's trying not to wee do you want us to stop so you can wee and then let the record no, show no, harry's no, trying not to pray the like nintendo wee it's all right i'm just trying not to wee i think it's funny i don't even know if they can hear you this it's got to be a quiet voice but it's gonna be a fun What's that, Harry? You agree with Trump's legislation so far? What's that, Harry? Women shouldn't have the right to decide what happens to their bodies. What's that, Harry? You think we should live in Sharia law? Yes. What's that, Harry? The cat in the hat doesn't need a sequel. What's that, Harry? Attack of the Clones isn't the best Star Wars. Oh, yes. What's that, Harry? The latest season of Sherlock has been the best season ever, and your first episode is your favourite one by far. Yes. What's that, Harry? Your favourite season of Community is season four. What's that, Harry? Robbie is the host with the most. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Anyway, um, scientists, I found out today, scientists um, predict that 
the population of the world will never reach over 13 billion. There will never be a 13th billion human. That's pretty interesting, is it not? What do you guys think Discuss. about how, um, like... The sport. Discuss. Good. I quite like this because I think it's better than No, but I'm being serious. You made us wait for that. Like, well, I no, it. I just thought of one. You know. I mean, I get it. Like, it's just Everyone's like, always complaining about there being too many people. Space. There won't no, be. Well, me and you said that in the first podcast. We said we need to kill some people. Yeah, literally there was a whole discussion about yeah. it. And Holly started talking so about it. So you brought up the same topic but, as the first episode but, of the podcast. But because recent information has come to light that, you know, there'll never be a God. 13th billion. There is none, yeah. Anyway, shut up, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think of, um, like, how love works? Considering it's Valentine's... It's you a know Valentine's what? Po- shut up, Rob. I know why you're so angry with me at this shut podcast. Shut up. It was that first little, like, little nag at the start, wasn't it? Sh- yeah, sh- <laughs> shut, <laughs> shut up. It's been annoying shut you. Shut up, shut up. Because I shut you down when no, you, no, no, when no. you were saying your name. Uh, <laughs> note for the podcast, scroll back to the first... No, just no, in say, the first intro, yeah. Say, let the record show. <laughs> let the record show in the first maybe 10 seconds of this podcast. Harry tries to say a long story for his opening remarks, and I shut him down. Uh, so, any, anything of interest you, you boys want to bring up? Do Why I are we mean, doing a podcast? Do we, we have anything interesting to say? Well, Can I, I cut Harry off every time I, he tries to speak? <laughs> Bitter. Shut up. No, no, no. Like, the record shows no such event. Bitter. Come. <laughs> That's ten. It's Valentine's Day, right? It's Valentine's how Day. Many t- how many how many how many relationships do you think are gonna start and end on this day? Like cause what, within four. the space of a day. Within the space of Valentine's a Day. Lot. Four. Oh yeah. I think a lot. A lot. Four. <laughs> Just four? Four. And that's a lot. It, it's more than I've had. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Same. It's the more than all of us has had. Oh wait, no. I think I've had exactly combined four. or what is Captain Planet. Captain Cabinet. How many relationships? Shut up, Rob. Can he get out? Can he get out? Of course he will. How many? How many relationships have you had? Captain Cabinet. Um, Captain Cabinet. How serious are we talking? Just like, oh, I want to sleep with you in the same bed for at least a week. Um, or comfortable enough to make animal noises at each other. Everyone I meet. Captain Cabinet. Okay, guys. <laughs> what guys? animal is that? That is a fish out of water. Captain Cabinet. Captain Cabinet's going to get out. Will he get, get out? out? Of course he will. All right, yeah. guys. I've come up with some interesting, fun yeah. topics to discuss in this podcast. It might it's change things up from the normal T Bird topic. New topic it's Jack's fun facts. It's time for Fun Jacks with Jack. What? <laughs> fun Jacks with Jack. <laughs> Okay, fun fact for Jack number one. I'm sorry, I debated, just thought of one. Fun fact for Jack number one. Pigs can get depression. No, they Fun can't. fact number two. The world's smallest penguin is 16 inches. I feel like you're not getting the irony oh, of fun fact. You mean your cock? It's 16 inches. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. All <laughs> burn. <laughs> that's burn. Sm- let the record show. No, that's the smallest. <laughs> Harry has a- just told me. My dick is... Big. No, your your penguin is small. That's what I <laughs> If you lift the kangaroo's tail off the ground, that bad boy can't hop. Are you researching facts? No, I just that uh, I'm looking at text messages from my mum. <laughs> Robbie, you're the winner. Well done, Robbie. You're the biggest fuckboy. Don't censor that. <laughs> so, Robbie, who have you had sex with? Nah. Um, 95% of people <laughs> texting they could never say in person. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Retract. <laughs> Robbie, who have you had sex with? <laughs> well, well, James. <laughs> I'm glad you asked. <laughs> for five <laughs> points. Catfish are the only animals <laughs> that naturally have an odd number of whiskers. We point out that we're talking about who's had sex with him, and he went immediately to catfishing. Oh my god, just like the animal. <laughs> <laughs> and the show. And Did the you movie. know that catfish are the only animals that naturally have an abnormal amount of whiskers? An odd number. An unnormal. Odd yes. number. Unnormal. Did you know that catfish are the only animals named after a TV show? Did you know that catfish <laughs> are the only animals that are called catfish? Because once something's called something, you can't do another. Hey, boy. Explain that to the hey, boys. dogs. Oh, there's there's not even like more than one dog. No, there definitely is though. You know where my done. Um, 
on an on a related note of interesting on facts, a pyramid note, recycling one jar that's made of glass will save you how many hours of TV watching? What? Then it will take me that long to do it, so I can't watch TV. No, it will save the energy to watch how many hours of TV? Twenty minutes. How long? How long is two girls one jar? <laughs> That's not even a video. No, it's one man, one jar. Okay, yeah. How long is one man, one jar? Because that's how long it's I reckon. It's, it's about six minutes, 36 seconds. <laughs> yeah. God, that's an awful If video. we fact check that and it turns out to be exactly right, we know what George Master Holly, to. Holly was the only person in t birds that didn't know what meat spin was. <laughs> no, a lot, most of them didn't. I Did lied. you know Holly was the only person in t birds who didn't know... Did you know Holly was the only person in the T-Birds called Holly? Fuck, no. You know, um, you know Holly is the only person in the T-Birds. Harry was the only person in the T-Birds not called... Ha- Fuck. What is that, mate? It's a little, little joke there. It's a little, it's a little skip one. just for us. Know, but it felt overused. It felt yeah. Um, Did you yeah. know that Holly was the only person in T-Birds not to... Eat a catfish? Yeah. With odd whiskers. With odd whiskers. With an unusual amount of whiskers. No, no, with odd whiskers. Whiskers like that are shaped like dicks. And they, they wear funky hats. Yeah. And they sing. <laughs> the whiskers are sentient. <laughs> <laughs> but, but they, oh, that's a bit odd. They each sing a different song from the hit film The Little Mermaid and it all contradicts. <gasps> oh, I'd love it. Like, one of them sings the title song, I Am The Little Mermaid. One of them sings... Um, the crab song. Yeah, the crab song. One of them sings... <laughs> yes, Jack. Let's escape the ocean, the ocean. And what one sings... Under the sea. And one sings... The Jewel of the Fates. <laughs> <laughs> and one, one sings... The, um, the legend of Darth Plagueis for wise. The, le- of the legend 27. Speaking of a hit Disney film... Um, Attack of the Clones? I will fight you. On the beaches. <laughs> Um, Disney um, on the parties. Um, two, what's happening in two days, guys? In two days' time, it'll be Thursday. Yeah. So nothing. Oh, so no. uh, I have Union. A night yeah. Or Entourage. 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 Yeah, Entourage. Uh, Union tonight, boys. After podcast, let's go John to Swan. And then podcast. Union. Still got time. After we've got our John Wick out. Tell your wedding idea. My wedding idea? I thought I was going to say it, it's my birthday in two days, and that's what I was trying to what bring one? up. But oh, yeah, it's again. your birthday. Congratulations, Jack. It's not like everyone has oh, one every year. My we, Star Wars one. <laughs> get it, Jack. You're turning 21. No biggie, okay? Let the record show that Jack is already 21 by the time this podcast goes online. Have he some is, faith, George. He is probably 22. Let, let, yeah, let the record show by the time this podcast goes out, Jack has children and he's 34. That involves adopting or something. I don't bother. That. Yeah, it's a long process, but George is editing this podcast. So by the time that George edits you. this podcast, men can also have children. Robbie, you've got an idea for your wedding ceremony, don't you? Oh, yeah. Um, I came up with this idea maybe uh, a week ago now. Yeah. I think it's, it's essentially the best wedding idea. The best idea I've ever had, full stop. So, um, picture this. Beautiful church, as you will, you know. The normal, beautiful wedding. Everything's white. Everyone's dressed to the nines. Everyone's looking great. My, uh, my wife comes down the aisle to the... Uh, or the your husband. Of, or my husband. Is it me? Jack. Jack walks down the aisle, dressed <laughs> as a bride. Um, oh. Anyway, to the what's the, the normal song they play? <laughs> it's, a, it's a classic <laughs> Jack Casey It's a prank. classic wedding. It's beautiful. There's doves flying everywhere. There's big cake. Anyway, she's walking down the aisle. There's no groom at the end. That's weird. She's, she's thinking, oh, fuck, maybe he's run, run out on the wedding. I am very upset right now. Anyway, <laughs> uh, bride gets to the end of the, uh, the walkway. She's standing there looking, looking around. <laughs> Lights dim a little. Uh... Some of my friends stand up with big red sheets of glass along the aisle. Sheets of glass? Yep. I slide in dressed as Darth Maul with a <laughs> double sided lightsaber. <laughs> and music comes on, yeah? You know, the Phantom Menace. Dun, 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 George stands up, does that. I start flipping around this lightsaber, running through the middle of the, <laughs> the church. <laughs> My wife's ex-boyfriend, Kaylee, slides out 
dressed as Qui-Gon Jinn, starts chasing me down the aisle, right? He gets stopped at some of the glass panels. You know, they're like, and we have this dramatic moment looking at each other, right? Panels open again. He runs through. I get another one of my wife's ex-boyfriends. She's a bit of a slut. Um, to slide out, dressed as Obi-Wan, right? Did he just call me? I just, I fucking kill my wife's ex-boyfriend, stab him. <laughs> Obviously not, but like, stab him. <laughs> the whole church notices there's a fucking big pit. <laughs> <laughs> at the end of at uh, the end of the because up until this point they they've been wondering you know no. <laughs> where's the ground? <laughs> my my favorite part in this is already one of his ex one of his bride to be's ex boyfriends is gonna win the fight and win her. No 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 no. no, no, no. Going, I've been over going. this anyway. Yeah. So I stab this guy through the chest. <laughs> yeah, flies down this pit. He's dead. Anyway, Obi Wan ex-boyfriend, runs up to me. I change the script. Fucking cut his head off. Yeah, he's gone. It's no longer the Phantom Menace. It's my wedding. Yeah, I kick him down the pit. Grab my wife. Marry that bitch. Done. I like... I like how the music goes We're from married dirt. Now, Jack. I don't appreciate the way I got referred to in any of that story. <coughs> I like how the music goes from dirt, 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 dirt. <laughs> That's literally how it will transition. I, I did have a better idea that George didn't think was bad. I, f- I like that one, but tell you other one. All right, so picture this. Wife walks down the aisle, right? Anyway. Oh, let me guess. There's no one. At, there's no groom. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, you're correct. Let me guess. There's um, somebody at the door. So <laughs> imagine this, right? Me and all my boys. You guys, yeah? We run around the corner of this church dressed as X-Wings, yeah? And we, so I start running down the aisle. You guys are jumping over relatives and stuff. We do the cool, like, attack formation. You go... Oh, we're doing know. Red 5, ready. You're doing all of that, yeah? We've got Porkins in simply, there. Simply Red, standing start, by. <laughs> start going... Pew, 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 red pew. leader, standing start, by. Start shooting everyone. I get all of my wife's exes to stand up dressed as TIE fighters. <laughs> I shoot those bad boys down, yeah? I'd blow up like four of them. They fall into the never ending pit of the, <laughs> on the floor. Yeah, yeah. This, yeah. This no is one's realised yet. <laughs> no, anyway, I jump out of the X Wing, yeah? This is my, <laughs> this is my favourite bit. <laughs> my wife pulls out a blue lightsaber, yeah? I pull out a fucking big boy taser and I go, traitor! <laughs> <laughs> I zap her in the chest. <laughs> Married. With... <laughs> I zap her and kick her as far as possible. <laughs> if she wakes up and gets up, we're married. I, who's on what? Like you were in the X Wings, but now you're like. I'm... I changed from Poe Dameron to uh, the traitor. One of my favourite parts is the part where you have to ring up the ex-boyfriends and convince them to dress as tie fighters for your wedding. For your we were discussing wedding. this though, wouldn't you? Yeah, if, I'd if do your, If your if ex-girlfriend got... husband well, called you up yeah, and said, like... yo, I want, I want you to be in this elaborate thing where I kill you. <laughs> <laughs> but like, a theatrical killing, I don't actually kill you. Or like, I shoot you down dressed as a tie fighter. You'd be like, yeah. Do it. That that's that's when you realise that like the ex boyfriend's coming and just gone. Look, like, your husband to be's just told me to dress up as a tie fighter. Do you want to yeah. run off and go on the honeymoon? Yeah, um, um, ex- excuse me, excuse me, wife of your soon to be husband. Your husband has asked me to be a tie fighter in your in your I, latest wedding. To 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 go around in a full circle, I think he has autism. <laughs> oh. Well played. That, yeah, I think that fairly well wraps Are we finished? It. Do you want to wrap it up? Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Okay. Um, thank you for listening to the T-Birds podcast. Moana sucks. Don't see it. And thank <laughs> you very much. Goodbye and Finny. good night. Finny.